Hey Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Tuesday, December 21st, 2021. Alright, let's get started. Okay, it looks like we've got some shaded sections in the grid today. They almost look like Tetris pieces, but they have one too many squares. Yeah, I wonder what these are going to be. Let's start with one across. Bygone Russian ruler. Okay, this is going to be Tsar. Um, it could be T-S-A-R or C-Z-A-R. I think T-S is much more likely. Let's see if that's right. Caesar dressing. This is kind of funny because the words Caesar and Tsar are kind of related. So this is actually a wordplay clue that's indicated by this question mark here. That means we need to find a punny answer for this clue. This is not going to be about salad dressing. That's kind of the standard reading. I think in this case we're going to be talking about Caesar as in an old Roman ruler. Something that a Caesar would be dressed in. And that would be a toga. Yeah, that's a very nice punny answer there. Okay. Scatter. Hmm. I'm not sure about this one. Developer of the game Breakout. I'm pretty sure that was Atari. It's a classic arcade game. MLB's first rookie of the year, 1947. Ooh. I don't know if I know this one. Let's get some crossing help here. The Simpsons character with a palindromic name. That's definitely Otto the bus driver. Capture the attention of... Maybe that's Grab? Hawk's home? That's going to be an airy. That's a word for an eagle's nest. It kind of looks like this wants to be strew. Kind of like the past tense verb version of strewn. I'm not sure if that's an actual word, and it seems like it's the wrong tense. This is a present tense verb. Hmm. I'm not sure what's going on here. And I'm not sure if I know this baseball name either. Hmm. List shortener abbreviated. I think this should be at all. That's short for the Latin phrase et ali. It means and others. It's kind of used when you're listing a bunch of names and you don't want to specify every last name. You can just say Smith et al. That means Smith and others. Yeah. Um, okay, let's see if we can build off of that. Fulfill completely. Maybe that's sate. Yeah, like if you were really hungry and then you ate until you were full, you would be sated. Okay. UFO pilots. I guess that would be extraterrestrials. ETs, it's abbreviated in the answer because there's this UFO abbreviation in the clue. Okay. Cause harm to. Hmm, there's a lot of words for that. You know what? This is starting to look like it might be Robinson. Jackie Robinson, right? Ooh, I bet that's going to help a lot. All right, let's take a peek at this first long across answer. It's probably going to have something to do with the theme. It's intersecting two of these shaded areas. Skiing and snowboarding. Well, I want those to be winter sports. Um, hmm. Yeah, that does fit. All right, well, maybe now we can work in this center section and try and fill out the rest of this gray area and see if we can maybe deduce what's going on here. And actually this is strew. Is that a present tense verb? Strew? I strew the seeds? Wow, interesting. I guess maybe it is. I don't know if I've ever seen that word used in the present tense. That's so funny. I think I've only ever seen strewn. That's great. That's a good new word to have learned. All right, so let's go back to this center section here. Um, maybe we can build off of this S. Lasting marks, maybe could be scars. Explosion fragments. Um, is that going to be shrapnel? Yeah, that was a danger for pilots in World War II. I know that. Um, let's see. Part of a foot. Is that going to be your arch? 
Not quite shut could be a jar. Sorrento Automaker. Isn't that Kia? Yeah, so it's not Arch. Oh my god, it must be Inch. That's so tricky. Yeah, they're not talking about the foot that's on the bottom of your leg. That's so great. What a nice little ambiguous clue there. Okay, rock band whose name also forms the call letters for a rock radio station in San Antonio. I guess that's KISS. They have a K-I-S-S -S in San Antonio? I guess so. Okay, cause harm to is going to be injure. There we go. And then Russia's blank mountains are the Ural Mountains. And plundered goods, I guess, is going to be loot. Okay, so what do we have here? A spoon? It's starting to look like a spoon. Okay, maybe we have silverware in our grid, hidden in these little silver sections. That's possible. Some NFL blockers. Um, blockers are on offense, so that's probably a guard. Maybe it's right guards. And again, it's abbreviated because of the abbreviation in the clue. With special importance. No, that should be notably, I think, right? So maybe this is right tackles instead of right guards. Yeah. Let's try notably here and see if we can build off of that. Make fizzy. It's not carbonate. Hmm. I'm not sure about that one. Halts abruptly. Hmm. Maybe we can get the end of this if we fill out this section here. Orpheus's instrument? I think that might be a liar. Let's see. Urges? Ooh, this is a tricky $5 word here. This is yens. That's another word for an urge. Yeah, urges that you might be able to sate. Yeah, if you find enough food. All right, lens holder could be eye maybe. You have a lens in your eye. Building with a loft could be a barn. And card suit that symbolizes a medieval weapon. I imagine that's spades. Yeah, it kind of looks like the head of a spear, right? Um, so what is this? It ends in bead? I'm not sure what this is going to be. Let's try some of these acrosses up here. Dating blank. Is that going to be dating app, maybe? Like Tinder? Um, so maybe this is not... Notably, maybe it's notedly, because it seems like this should be stops dead. Yeah, that looks really good. Is it really notedly? Yeah, I guess maybe it is. Makes fizzy. Maybe that could be aerate. Yeah. Sing smoothly could be croon. Yeah, that sounds very nice. Okay. The best is blank come. The best is yet to come. Okay. Home of the Met, the Whitney, and the Frick in brief. That would be in New York City. Yeah. Like some sprays. I guess there's some nasal sprays. And that would give us a top for crowning. And lawn for actor Cheney nicknamed the Man of a Thousand Faces. Yeah. I have heard of Lon Cheney. Okay. And then that gives us... Another spoon. Very interesting. Is this going to be about bending spoons? I wonder if we're talking about a mentalist, Yuri Geller, the noted spoon bender, or maybe we're going to be talking about the Matrix, right? There was some spoon bending in the Matrix. I wonder if it's going to be one of those. All right, so this is probably going to be a spoon, right? Sewing shop supply. Yeah, that could be spools. And then that would give us a spoon here, too. Okay. Ask for? Hmm. Ask for. I'm not sure about this one. Talk show host Jack. Ooh, this is tough. This is Jack Parr. He was the host of The Tonight Show before Johnny Carson. It's a very old reference. Work hard for... That could be urn, maybe? Prominent feature of a fennec fox. I think they have big ears, don't they? But they're asking for a feature singular, so it'll just be ear singular. 
Um, maybe this is going to be seek. Ingredient in perfume and potpourri. Hmm. I would want that to be orange peel. Hmm. That doesn't really fit though, does it? Yeah. Huh. Hare blank. That's going to be Hare Krishna. It's a religious group. Um, hmm. Long, thin strip used in building construction. Hmm. I'm not sure about that one either. Do our spoons always start in the same spot? Not really, right? It's hard to predict. I wonder if this is going to be the S in the spoon here. Giveaway as a story's ending. Yeah, that's going to be spoil, right? That does give us the beginning of our spoon down here. And then this should be O-N. Pinky and the brain for two. Um, well, they're lab rats, right? I guess they're cartoons. Maybe this is just asking for tunes. Yeah, let's see. Subway stop abbreviated. Yeah, that should be a station. Um, I think you should abbreviate it with an A. It might be an N though also. Blank the housetop, click, click, click. That's up on the housetop. That's the noise that Santa's reindeer are making, right? Okay, put into the pot. Ooh, this is a little tricky too. This is not talking about a pot that's cooking stew. This is the pot that's gonna be at the center of a poker game. And I think this is going to be aunties. Or it could be anteed actually, because put can be present or past tense. This is a very tricky clue actually. Um, actually, I think it has to be anteed um, because if it was present tense, it would just be ante, right? It's not puts into the pot, yeah. So let's make that anteed. And this is LSD. It may give you visuals, yeah. Hallucinatory visuals. Okay, um, so this is looking like it's gonna be a root. This isn't looking familiar to me. www.newyorktimes.com for one. That's an example of a URL. Yeah, this is gonna be a new one for me, I think. And I don't think I know this one either. Interesting, okay. Question of identity, maybe that's just who? <laughs> that's a question you ask when you want to know someone's identity. Pesky plant could be a weed. Puts money on, and when you have a word in parentheses at the end of your clue like this, that means that same word has to be able to go at the end of your answer. Um, so I think this is gonna be bets on, kind of like your poker game down here. Furniture depicted in Frida Kahlo's The Dream, 1940. I guess it's bed. I haven't seen that picture before. B or C of the Spice Girls. There was Mel B and Mel C, right? That was scary and sporty spice. Interim period. Hmm, interim. So this is like maybe a break between two things. Hmm, I'm not sure. First and only chimpanzee to orbit Earth. Ooh, I don't know that one. Hmm, let's see if we can get our last spoon here. Cronus to Uranus. I guess Cronus was Uranus's son. And then this is going to be an O, right? To give us our last silver spoon. Sight near an exit sign. That has to be a door, right? That's going to be the exit the sign is pointing to. Singing voice meaning heavy sounding. I guess that's baritone. Okay. Whale groups is going to be pods. Very good. What's this last across here? I wonder if this is going to be a revealer. Display of mentalism or a hint to this puzzle's shaded squares. Yeah, that's going to be spoon bending, right? Very nice. We were very close with our Yuri Geller guess. Yeah, he is a mentalist that bends spoons. I don't know if he's actually using his mind, but yeah, that's his gimmick. All right, that's really fun. That's really cool. I like that a lot. And I kind of think that's what the Matrix was playing off to. Yeah, that's kind of like the stereotypical I have special powers thing, right? Bending spoons with your mind. 
Very nice. Okay, let's get these downs here. Um, hmm. Maybe this is going to be meantime. In the meantime, that end really helped. Exposed for all to see. Hmm. Like it's late bear or something. Hmm. I think we're going to skip this one. Smooth out. Okay, that has another word in parentheses there. I think this is going to be iron out. It may be printed on a placemat. Um, maybe that's going to be a maze? Yeah. First place. And this is wordplay again, so this is not about getting first place in a race. I think this is going to be the first place in history, at least according to the Bible. Um, and that's going to be Eden. Yeah, very tricky there. Okay. Um, so I guess this is Baird. And this is not going to be a maze. Maybe it's a menu. There we go. And then this is going to be attempt metaphorically. I guess you could say you could take a stab at something. Yeah, that's a metaphor for taking an attempt. And then this is Enos. Okay. Reserve. Maybe that's a store. Work of fiction. That could be a novel. One of Cyprus's two official languages. I think that has to be Greek, right? Walkie talkie word. That's definitely over. That's when you're ready to let the other person speak. Blank do well. That's ne'er do well. Someone that's up to no good. And Wapitis? Oh my god. Um, I don't know if I've ever seen this word before. It's looking like it's going to be elks. And goofs is another word for heirs. Yeah, those are both verbs. Okay, so I wonder if this is about the fraternal order, the elks. Is Wapitis another word for the elks? Or is it actually another word for the animal? Hopefully the goose enlightened us about that. It'll be very interesting to see which one it is. All right, let's put that S in there and see if that does it for us. Oh, shucks. We got a square wrong. All right, let me see if I can track it down. Uh-oh, what's going on here? These don't look like words. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I think this was a typo, wasn't it? Yeah, this should be a URL. And then this is going to be a spline. Oof, okay. Yeah, well, that only cost us a few seconds. All right, let's see if this does it for us. All right, a Tuesday puzzle in 23 minutes. That's right around target time for us. Very good. This is a very cute theme. I liked all these spoon bending shapes. All these spoons were bent into a unique shape here. And then we had this great revealer spoon bending, tying it into mentalism. Yeah, but I think it's also appropriate because we're getting a new Matrix movie in a couple of days too, right? It's very well timed. And on top of this fun spoon bending theme, we had a bunch of good wordplay clues today too. I thought this toga clue was very clever to start us off with. And I really liked that it crossed czar up here because the word czar comes from the word Caesar. The clue for Eden was also very clever. And I really liked the trickiness in this inch clue. We definitely fell for the ambiguity in this one. I didn't even think about using the foot as a measurement and not an extremity on your leg, yeah. All right, well, thank you for solving that mind-bending Tuesday puzzle with me. I'm going to be coming back at you tomorrow for the Wednesday puzzle. And I think that's going to do it for now. All right, I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.